Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make savory French green lentils. Um, I made coconut red lentils last night and uh, coconut curry red lentils last night. So for this video, I'm going to integrate two recipes into one video since they're just quick, um, quick little cooking videos. So let's get started. So what I have are the French green lentils. Um, we have onion, carrots, celery, a couple of bay leaves, five cloves of garlic, um, vegan broth base that I like to use, and thyme, fresh thyme. I have a variety of seasonings in here, about two tablespoons of onion salt, um, garlic, and it's a garlic and herb blend that I get from the bulk aisle where I live. And just really any kind of um, garlicky, oniony, uh, peppery type uh, seasonings work really well with this. So these are the seasonings I use and what I'll do is go ahead and prep. It's kind of weird doing a cooking video for some reason. It's like, it's more of a meditative type thing to me, I think, when I get in the kitchen and start chopping and cooking and doing my little things. So it's like to have, uh, to be talking about it as I'm doing it. It's, um, it's a new experience, but you know, so I've got my phone on because what I'm gonna do is, as I'm prepping this, go ahead and put the phone on so you can see the, um, the prep method. Okay. So this little garlic thing is like one of the best things I have in the kitchen. So you don't have to smash the cloves and get the skin off. I mean, that's another method too, if you like, but this removes it right out. So you just roll it on a clean countertop and usually it comes right off. Sometimes there's a little bit of, of uh, stickiness going on. So in that case, I'll chop the ends off. Let um, me just go ahead and do that to make it quick here. Just chop the very tips off. Get that thing around here. And I used fresh garlic as well as garlic salt just to give the dish a really nice savory flavor. So let's put those in there and roll them around. And see the skin comes right off. Love it. There we go. Get that one off and then one more stubborn one. So give it another try. Sometimes you have to press down a little bit and crush the garlic just a little bit to get the skin off. That's a little trick to do pushing down on it as you roll. So all right garlic is done and what we'll do is cut the tips of the onion there. What I use is a little hand, um, kitchen aid hand held mixer, or cutter, chopper, whatever it is. And I'll, I'll show you what it is. So I don't have to go through the whole process of chopping up the onions and, you know, getting all red faced or whatever. <laughs> so I do it a simple way. And this thing is a really, let me get a bigger knife out. This thing is really great, this uh, KitchenAid tool. I got it, an immersion, immersion blender, and then I'll show you the other attachment that comes with it. You're able to just chop things up really easily. First, I like to get them in kind of slivers so that they're easily fitting around the blade. So, there it is. And there's a little blade that goes in. It's pretty powerful. Just put that in, put the garlic cloves, fill it up with the onion. And if I have, you know, too much onion in the first run, then I'll just dump it out and fill it up again. So there's that, and that's good for right now. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. And then this is the handheld part of it. Plug it in, give it power. Okay. And then just put it on and let it And you can 
see how quick it chops it up. So like I said, if I get too much in there, I just kind of dump it out. And then put the blade back in, put the remainder of the onion in, and do the same thing. Okay. All right, that looks great. All right, the onion is set aside in the bowl, and this is fresh thyme, and how you get the thyme leaves off to chop them is go the opposite direction of the growth of the leaves. So you just hold the end of it. Let's pull this off. It's nice if it's just like one long stem, but you get these little offshoots and just kind of work with them, you can kind of like rolling it around in your fingertips kind of gets the leaves off too so if i don't have fresh thyme i'll go ahead and use you know what i have in the cupboard but i always try to use fresh ingredients when possible just to have a nice uh, rich flavor in the dish and you can smell how uh, aromatic the thyme is coming off of the stem here it's nice in the winter time, this dish. Um, the coconut curry lentils I make all year round, but this one seems to be just really nice for the winter time. And I'll keep getting that time off and then go ahead and prep the celery and the carrots and uh, come back to you. Okay, so we have our carrots and celery, have our onions and garlic, seasonings, French lentils, and this is the fire roasted tomatoes. I'm gonna open up that can, let's wipe off the top. And then it's pretty easy, all you do is put the some olive oil in your pot in the bottom. Um, put the garlic and onions in, let them saute, let them get a nice uh, glassy look to them. And it takes about six to eight minutes on medium heat. And then for me, I just add in the rest of the ingredients along with um, the broth powder. All right, all the ingredients are now added into the pot and they are getting to a nice hot temperature before I turn it down a little bit lower and let it uh, simmer. That's Chloe in the background <laughs> hitting her little ball. And then here comes Bijou because she's the enforcer. If Chloe's having too much fun without her, then you know, she has to put a stop to that. So this is what's going on in my house. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen and we will be right back when the lentils are cooked so you can see what the finished uh, dish looks like. So it's kind of fun. Cooking videos. Pull the lid off and everything appears to be uh, really cooked thoroughly. The last time I checked on the carrots and stuff after about 45 minutes they were still a little, just a little tiny crunchy so now they look like they, let's have a taste. Little tiny bit crunchy but I like them that way. Um, so these have been simmering for about an hour. So two cups of lentils and the rest of the um, ingredients that I listed, um, they wanted to simmer for about an hour. This was a lot of fun making a cooking video. Tonight I am making curry lentils and this is a staple that I keep in the fridge almost weekly so I don't have to think too much about what I want to put together to eat. So I have the ingredients out here and let's just go through them. So you can see I'll also type them and um, put them in the description below so you can see exactly what I use in the recipe. Um, in the bowls here I have fire roasted tomatoes that are diced. They are from a can. Uh, I have Red lentils, these are dry. I will wash them before I put them in the recipe to cook. And then I have full fat coconut milk. Um, let's see, for the spices, I have hot Indian curry powder, 
um, mild curry powder, Malaysian Seven Seas curry. Uh, we have sea salt, uh, black pepper, turmeric, cumin, ginger, and uh, vegan broth base. For the fresh ingredients, I have sweet potato, onion, and garlic cloves. Garlic cloves are back here. So I bought and this is where I'm going to be dicing and chopping things and making a lot of noise with the chopper over there. So I will uh, see you when I am ready to put the things into the pot to cook. Oh man, I didn't record. Drat, I don't know how much I've recorded. I did add some more spices as they were cooking and again I just kind of eyeball when I put the spices in. Um, I can give you an estimate in the description below but you know just kind of check it and have it flavored to your personal taste. If you have any questions leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to, um, to check them out and see if there's anything I can address for you. But, I appreciate you watching, I appreciate you going on this journey with me, and there will definitely be more cooking videos to come. I love to be able to bake and cook and make things. It's kind of like a chemistry experiment, experiment each time. <clears throat>